All right, Bebcorp here from the Bebcorp channel where we're all juice harps all the time. Now, we're coming at you today for a little video tutorial on how to hold the jaw harp. This goes out to Miss Allie Watkins. All right, now first, how we go about holding the jaw harp or the juice harp. We got our harp here. I like to pinch it in between my thumb and my middle finger to hold the bottom of the frame. Then I will gently rest my finger on the top of the frame. If you squeeze the harp or squeeze it with your hands, what ha tends to happen is the frame here will get pushed into the reed and it will hit on there. You will not play well if that happens. Another thing, avoid letting your thumb contact the reed or tang of the harp. That will also muffle it. Now, first thing we're going to do with the harp is you're going to put the harp, you're just going to place it up against your teeth. Imagining my hand is your teeth. With a slight space in it, we're gonna put the jaw harp up against there. We're not going to bite down on it. Biting down on it again will result in closing the frame and not allowing that reed to move. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that lightly up against the teeth, such as this. Now, whenever we play it, it's always easier to move your hand when you hit it. You can hit it with your thumb, moving your hand straight forward or straight backward, or hit it with your finger moving straight forward or straight backward. If you hit it without moving your hand, the tendency will be to hit at a downward or upward angle, and that will cause the reed to contact the frame. So with it resting up against your teeth, pluck straight forward and straight back. Moving your hand, if you keep your hand stationary, you may be hitting at a downward or upward angle, resulting in a clicking noise. What we want is straight forward or straight backwards, starting off to get our noise. You want to pluck true with the reed so that the reed doesn't tweak at an upward or downward angle. I'll show you an example of hitting at an untrue angle and it contacting the frame. This is what will result. You want to pluck straight forward, straight backward. Straight backward. Now, after you've played a while, you can alternate between straight forward, straight forward, straight backward. I like to, whenever I'm going to pluck it again, I bring my hand back around in a circular motion. You can hit it backwards that way. Just so long as you're plucking true, you won't get that clicking noise. And that should take care of your problem with your clicking noise on your juice harp. Thank you for watching. This is Bebcorp. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice weekend.